Sports is brought to you by All Out Auto Repair, home of the $46 Saskatchewan and $66 Alberta Safety Inspection. Your complete automotive repair. Well, Moses, a busy weekend for the Baker Hughes Bobcats, uh, wrapping up uh, two games over the weekend. Yeah, uh, big ones too. You know, after that 5-2 win against the CAC Greg Dispir uh, Distributors uh, the other night, uh, they took on the Chrysler Division's second best team, the Calgary Buffaloes. And the Buffaloes would lead 1-0 in this one uh, halfway through the first. Uh, look at the highlights there. They would uh, eventually work in the beautiful tic-tac-toe. You know what? Kate Spencer says, uh-uh. Makes the great save there. Last minute of the first, Connor James steps in and slides it to Trevor Bayless, but can't get any mustard on it. To the second, Bobby McMahon slips through the D. The pass would be blocked, but it would nearly trickle in, just getting the toe on it there. Another Bobcats rush, James to Austin Hunter. Just kept out by Keelan Williams. Moments after that, Alex Mowbray to Owen Johnson. It's in the net, but it won't count. There was holding on the play. Still 1-0, so we'll go to the third period. A minute in, Bryce Woodward would score on the screen with the man advantage. It's now tied up at one apiece. Buffaloes back the other way. Big rebound, not able to get the second chance, so the Cats counter. McMahon with a great speed down the wing. Again, sets up Cole Nicholson, but his shot would be blocked. Uh, they would keep up the pressure as uh, Steen Pashnuk would ring it off the inside of the post. Dying minutes, Calgary will bumble the puck, bounces in the blue paint before being knocked away by Ryan Simington. Cats tie their fifth game this year, 1-1. Now to the Junior A Bobcats for the third time this year. The Bobcats and the Okotoks Oilers went to overtime to decide the winner. Tanner Dunkel scored with just over five minutes left in the third to send it to the extra frame, but the Oilers Chris Collins potted one less than a minute in. 4-3 the final. The Bobcats' next contest is on Wednesday against Spruce Grove. Meanwhile, the Bonneville Pontiacs won their second straight one-goal game yesterday against the Camaros Kodiaks. The Ponts got two power play goals and an assist from Mark DeBow in the 3-2 win. Tyler Santos made 22 saves for the Ponts en route to earning the AJHL Player of the Week honors, posting three straight wins with a 1.67 goals against average. The Ponts sit in third in the AJHL North Division, just four points behind first place Spruce Grove. The Lloydminster Bandits bounce back from Friday's loss against Cole Lake with a 5-1 win over the Vagerville Rangers. The Bandits just sit two points out of top spot in the South Division. And the Lloydminster Universal Heat were in Medicine Hat on the weekend. For the Hockey Hounds Bantam AAA Tournament, the Heat lost their semifinal matchup to the Calgary Bisons, knocking the Heat down to the bronze medal game against BC's North Shore Winter Club. Again, Lloyd Minster wasn't able to contain the powerful Winterhawks offense, giving up six goals to North Shore for the second time in the tournament. The Heat finished fourth in the 12-team tourney. Bright spot, though, Lloyd Minster's Kale Clegg was named top defenseman in the whole group. So congratulations to him. And in the Sask West Hockey League, the Lloydminster Border Kings improved to 2-0 with a 3-1 win over the Mallards. Joe Mizaga, and, uh, or he had a pair of goals, Jordy Duggan with the other. And that is your first look at sports. Elise is up next with weather. 